How are you doing and how have you been? My name's Sazastical. This is Perkins. It's snowy and we've got some mechs to take out. So party people, I think it's fair to say we have been we have been putting up with this minus 40 extreme psychic drone for quite a while now. So we're going to take Perkins on the old speed free and we're going to try and take out this ship part. Now the only problem with doing so is the minute we take it out, if I get Perkins up there, then she can start shooting. The only problem with taking this out is these mechs are going to come at us straight away. So... What we're going to want to do is tell everyone else to hide inside, just so they stay around. And I want someone... You've got EMP grenades. Vaz, if you get one more now... I mean, that's just panic, really. Pure panic. We will need to turn someone into a melee, like, down the line. Just especially now I found out how powerful melee is, who would have guessed. We need to make sure we're making the most of it. So Perkins can hopefully go to work on this. So 26, 22, it is midnight. Vaz's mood is going down, we're at 14, 12, 9, 7, 5, 3, okay. So now Perkins is going to come home. I want to make sure everyone's in tip-top condition, everyone's rested, everyone's well-fed before we go along this. Vaz's mood is a little bit down. Now, a lot of that is to do with, obviously, the minus 40. However, we need to take this sensibly. So if Vaz's mood could go up a little bit, that would be great. And then, if we can get through this, of course we can get through this. The next priority will be probably another row or getting more hydroponics up. I don't know what form that would take, but getting that up. With the how much plastic have we actually got? What would it take to get a smithy up? Hundred steel and three components. Because we need that. I wonder we make some plate armor and we turn someone into melee. I might turn Merlin into a melee person. Now, how is Merlin like? You're part of our religion. Okay, it's just basically break your resistance. Okay. Was, to be fair, another reason, I was hoping to leave it a little bit longer and hope we get an attack, but... Alas. No luck. No luck. Always a bride, never a bridesmaid. No, always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Okay. Everyone's a bit bored. I think this is as good a mood as we're really going to get. Problem is, his Yoko mood's gone down a little bit now. Not great. Okay. I mean, food-wise, we're pretty golden, it has to be said. Like, could we not even go into... Rice. Yeah, I might actually do another fine meal thing. So we've got this fine meal, which is basically prioritizing the rice and the human meat. But I'm actually going to do another one after it. Fine meal. So the rice will always be used on the human meat first. But actually, when we don't have any human meat and we have lots of rice, I don't particularly see a reason why we shouldn't just be making the fine meals. Like, it's not going to, like, totally offset the negatives we're getting, but, you know, a little added positive every now and then is pretty nice, I think. So they'll always cook the human meat and the rice together first. But, you know, if they haven't got any human meat, then just make it with whatever we've got. Because especially in a situation like this where, you know, the simple meals are covered, we have got some room in storage, 
we should be making, you know, as much as possible to just raise morale, especially in these tragic times. There we go. The fine meals are coming out. Love it, love it, love it. Right, Vaz and Yoko, yeah, their moods are going up. Okay, so it doesn't look like we can really wait any longer. So come on, Perkins. Now, I am going to want her to stand as far away as possible. Luckily, with the sniper rifle, we have a hell of a range, as you can see. You can even shoot from there. Might be a tricky shot, but let's try it. She hit it first time, funny enough. Like, my hand is like every shot, I'm like pushing the space bar. There we go, there we go, there we go. So now Perkins needs to run in pretty quickly. Don't need to draft anyone else yet. Perkins needs to move a hell of a lot quicker than this, I'll tell you that. Oh, I don't like the speed they're gaining on her. Oh, she's got a little bit of distance. Once they get a little bit closer, I just want to make sure everyone's happy because look, we've still got Beasley eating. Perkins might actually run into problems here. We might not be able to do anything. Hopefully the doors should save Perkins. We're going to hold this door open. Quickly, 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 quickly. Ooh, that was close for comfort. That was close for comfort. That is, yeah, that was very close for comfort. Okay, Perkins, you need to now go inside and go get heavy SMG. I need to draft everyone else here. It's the heavy SMG now. It's the EMPs that are going to save us. We need to do this perfect. And this is why we've got two people chucking. EMPs. Run, Vaz. Perkins, you need to come down. Right, we've got him stunned. Problem is we've got more coming in. Perkins needs to come in here quick. Okay, they are getting stunned. This might work okay. Gonna get a little bit hit. I don't really want to move them though. Right, we do need to move Perkins up because we do need to be aware of friendly fire. As long as we're really close, friendly fire won't be an issue. But we just need to make sure we are close, though. So there we go. Yep, they just keep stunning. How is Vaz's health? Not too bad, not too bad. I mean, it's not the worst situation. Like, it looks pretty, like, to be fair, it looks like we're doing this pretty well. Let's be honest. It's not It's not the worst situation we've ever been in, like, in RimWorld. So we're going to have to take this as a clear W. So... Let's get rid of that and everyone on draft and that is pretty successful start sorry i can't remember what vaz's health was from 15 hours that's that's fine not too bad and that's why we had two emps just in case i messed it up which which i definitely didn't party people definitely didn't so don't even worry about it could have been worse uh we do need to make sure that vaz is actually getting medical treatment though like i can appreciate everyone wants some food now we've got fine meals, because we're a fine colony. <laughs> right, there we go. How's Vaz doing health-wise? Yep, pretty nice, pretty nice. Look at that. We go again. We go again. We've cleared that from the map. What resources did we actually get from it? We got a component, an advanced component, some steel. Okay. So let's go, I can't actually remember what, yeah, area. Are we free to roam about? I can't actually remember. 
Like, have we got any more clusters on the map? Got one over here. So actually, we can widen the area. There's a little turret over here we have to be mindful of, but nothing too cray-cray, though. So let's go area one. There we go. We can massively, like... Do a bit of land grabs. That's really good, especially because we are in summer. I know it says permanent. There's one more, one more, one more. There's two more, there's two more, there's two more. How did I miss? How did I miss that? Okay, but there is one more. What damaged them? Or why are they walking so closely? It's like, it's not them coming at us, no. Oh god, that was a real oversight from us, not good. Uh, let's push forward. <laughs> very slow, very slow, gang. Like, this isn't exactly, like, the speed that you want, but hey-ho. It, it could be worse, like, at least their heart's in it, that's the main thing. Right, there we go. Undraft. Should we have a like a double check? I mean, everything looks pretty okay. Ah, I see a plasma sword. I think I got excited about that last time and it weren't nothing about nothing. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. All sorted. Right, so. As always, priorities. We need to make sure we're gathering silver. We need to silver, um, steel. We need to make sure we're inspired recruitment. Um, can we just make sure per Perkins is warding and doctoring because Perkins should be the next one to yeah talk to Merlin that means Merlin will be recruited which is actually really really banging and we actually could have used that so Merlin Merlin my boy my boy my man my man step into my office like me and you, Merlin, we've always been close, haven't we? And you're going to be part of the gang now. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be lovely. This is going to be your bed. Now, I know it's currently your prison, but... I mean, it is a prison here anyway, but you know what I mean. Perkins? What happened there? I think it was just like a general chat. All right, we don't have a research project. Um, do we want to jump back on research? Like, I don't see why not. Why did we stall a little bit? Multi-analyzer. So that is the next big goalie-olio. So what I actually will do, though... So we need gold, eight components. I'm actually going to put this in. And we can start building towards it. We can start thinking about it. We know that's our next... I say it might be a long-term goal... Saying that, there is some gold ore here. Gold ore here? Gold ore here. So let's mine. To be fair, we might get away with just one section of it. We will need components afterwards. There is one over here and there's some to mine. So Parkins, you're feeding Merlin. So does that mean Merlin's going to be part of the crew now? Right after this little chat, is this recruitment? Yes, lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely stuff. All right, Merlin joins us. You're a doctor as well, are you? Cool. Actually got a double passion for it, which is nice to say. Remind me what you were even going to do in the colony, though. Well, I could go grow and plant cut. And then I could take Kenneth off of Grow and Plant Cut. Purely to go one on Art, two on Mine. Three on Research, which basically means you're going to be stuck on Research because there's not going to be a lot of time that we do Mine and do the other stuff. So we will set this for... Wait. Oh, no, it's Medical on the Fall. For Merlin. Merlin will, however, be our melee, so congratulations on that. So we will need, if we go to production, 
we will need to get an electric smithy up at some point. So I'm going to queue that bad boy up there. And that's another little goal that we've got to get that up. Meaning we can then go into research. Is there anything actually we want to research? Could get some mini guns for this close. We're doing a lot of close ranged combat at the moment. Like I have, I have seen that. So I'm going to suspend the assault rifle. What do we need for chain shotguns? Like, and I think actually getting, even if we just literally say, just do it twice. Just get two chain shotguns. Then we research mini guns. And let's do this. Let's let's go. How much gold have you got there? Twenty six. So that is enough for the multi-analyzer. Right, the rest of the kill box is going up. That's fine. It slowly does it. Slowly as she goes. That's how the song goes, I'm sure. Uh, Beasley, can you haul that component? Tail, can you come haul that? And then what we need to do is probably start mining around the map. Now, we do have a lot of steel already here. Saying that, there are some components in here as well. Is it just the two miners we've got? So we've got Perkins on one, Beasley on one, and Kenneth on a cheeky two. Uh, what's going on that we're on? Why we've been forced on speed. What's happening that I haven't seen? Let's go wildlife, no wildlife. Why have we been forced onto speed one? What have I lot what have I not seen? Merlin's running. Why are you up all the way over here, Merlin? Ah, because your zone isn't set. Just as well you have a shield belt, Merlin. Merlin, draft, run. I'm not saying that would have been embarrassing, but that wouldn't have been um, my finest hour by any um, stretch of the imagination. Merlin, this is basically what happens in the colony, so I'm really sorry you're having to deal with this, but get used to it. <laughs> you know it, party people. You know it. You know it. There's no point denying it at this point. We just have to embrace it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. All right, we get this bit of component in here because we do need a inspired creativity, Kenneth. Yeah. Merlin, what are you doing here? You're hauling steel. Um, okay. Well, this looks like actually quite a lot of components we're actually going to get from this little section here, which is pretty banging. Six right off the bat. And I mean, I think we need eight for the multi-analyzer anyway. Kenneth, bring it up the rear. What is your mining? Three. You do have a slight passion, so I will allow it. Other than that, we are... We're going... Exotics, good trader. We do have some Parkers. Um, you're going to have to remind me who the best social person is in here. Is it Yoko? It's Yoko. Of course it's Yoko. How could I forget about Yoko? Like, I'm sorry. Like, like I'm sorry, but we're going to trade. We're going to get some good stuff. Come on, Yoko. That's, that's a little, like, Little chat, a little, little chin wig where I'm like, look, I'm sorry. You have to deal with me. I have to deal with you. Neither of us like it. Oh, it's the bulk's good traders that take our parkers, so. Wow, 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 wow. So we've got a bit of money. So we've got a bit of money. We've got a tiny bit of money. I think we're going to blow it all on all on drugs and just get some... Yeah, no, I'm joking. <laughs> Someone listening was like, wait, what? That that turned quickly. I think we're going to spend it all on components. Eight components, seven components, and I think we'll just take some components. 
I think that's the best thing that we can do at the moment. If we can get this multi-analyzer up, which we should be able to. We've got the resources for. Like Then we can get the next level of res um, research going. However, animal migration squirrels. Okay. However, we do need to get Merlin up and running with melee because I do believe we're going to get like hit hard. So we've been very lucky. I mean, we've been unlucky and un like lucky and lucky because let's be honest, we have had some big attacks. We've been extraordinarily lucky and dealt with stuff incredibly well so far. But we don't want to rest on our um, morals. Laurels? I can't remember what the word is. I tried, buddy people, I tried. But yeah, if we can get... Because Merlin's got the shield belt, which is the most important, so at least he can hold fire. But if we can get... So what else do we need for this, then? It's just steel and components, which we should have all of them. And then the priority is going to be getting that plasteel armour. We'll transport pod crash. Uh, some more plastic here, so we will mine that. Um, we accept it and eat them, right? Oh, it's right next to the turret. Just having a look at the clothing that they had. And I should have been paying a little bit more attention to the clothing, everyone. That I've been eating had. Who would have who would have guessed? Who would have guessed that would have come down around and bought it bite me in the bar? <laughs> no one. No one would have. No one would have. No one would have seen it coming, party people. No one would believe you if you said it in the comments. We all said how successful this colony was. Didn't need any help. So we need plate armor. Yeah, just do once. Made out of plasteel. Not wood. There's <laughs> slight differences. And then then what do we want to be fair we could hold off go research go back go into long blades we have actually done a lot of it get a long sword because melee against mechs is more to like let the EMPs do their thing. I'm like, because I imagine the Warhammers are going to be better against like blunt targets like mechs. I'm more worried about humans. And so when the mechs get into like melee with my melee guy, the plan is to use the EMPs and then they're going to be stunned. So it's regardless what my melee person has. Do you know what I mean? Where. When people attack, I want my melee person to be able to do as maximum damage to them as possible because the closer, the longer they're in melee, the more likely like damage is going to occur naturally. Now, that's the thinking out loud. When I say out loud, I sound like a genius. I sound like Einstein. I sound like the guy that sat below the tree and got hit with a coconut and invented gravity. I feel like I'm inventing another layer onto RimWorld that I never had. Conness needs rescue. Well, we're not going over that. What are we making? Shield belt, chain shotgun. Okay. Research wise, we're not really jumping on research at the minute, but. Let me look at. Why is. Kenneth, because we're doing a little bit of mining at the moment, I suppose. That should be the last bits of it, though. Do need some hauling to bring some steel in. Combat supplier. We have no money though. Um, let's trade just in case. I don't think you will take the Parkers. No. Flak vest. That would be tattered, so just get rid of that. Um, limestone club. Why not? I mean, we're literally getting pennies for this. And we can get one component. Ooh. Oh no, moving up in the world, party people. Moving up in the world. We need some more human attacks, to be honest. The problem is, is the size of the human attacks we're going to get. 
are going to be pretty, pretty cray cray. Rice is really keeping us afloat. Who would have thought? Oh, yeah, we need to mine all this plastil to get a set of plastil armor up for Merlin. Just needs to happen. We need to do a lot of, like, progression in this summer period. Psychic Smooth, thank you very much, Randy. Randy giveth, he taketh away. At the moment, he giveth. Right, what is everyone doing? They're grabbing Plasteel, funny enough. Because there's a load down here. One component. I mean, it's not a lot of Plasteel, but... Sort of is what it is. There we go, so that armour is being made by Vaz. It'll take a while, like, how much work? We have got some Cougars. Passing through the area. Um, I might tell... I don't think they'll randomly get hungry. Oh, I need to do... Recreation. Work. Who was I making, like, double... Beasley was doing double shifts. <laughs> Accident? Who's up here? Tail. Okay. Just didn't want them to get like the cougars getting hungry on the way and just like, hmm, I fancy a snack. Like, like I don't know if they went like manhunter and then just like chasing tail down. I don't particularly think tail is going to have much luck. They're going to catch tail's tail. Ha ha ha. Hilarious. I know. Well, you don't get this sort of commentary anywhere, party people. You don't particularly get it here, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, double on research, so we're going to get the long swords now. So we're going to be able to queue that up. So let's go then back into research. Do we want to do carpet? No, we don't want to, do we? Not really where we're going with this series. Then we're going to go back into... Back into looking to get mini guns up. Just the way we're fighting at the moment. We're fighting quite close ranged. It makes perfect sense. Let's add to the smithy. What's a torture crown? Wow. Used to induce pain in the wearer. We all need torture crowns. Uh, so make a long sword. We haven't got any sexy material. So at the moment, we will literally just make out of steel just to make sure it actually gets made. And then Vaz, yeah, like a thousand work more. So, yeah, so we got one melee person, so it's better than what we had. So always got to put a positive spin on things. You know, we're politicians, are we? Well, I don't know. That could be, that could be. M has collapsed due to exhaustion. I mean, Ab, that's the least of your problems. No one's coming to save you. <laughs> like, I don't know if you know this, Em. You're in a lot of trouble where no one is even thinking about saving you. But I would say I'm sorry, but I'm not. So, sorry. Back at the base where everyone's calm. We have a chain shotgun. It's going to be... Palm. Ah, oh, I couldn't fit the... I could nearly be a poet. Nearly be a poet. Actually, everyone's moods is sky high again. Like, around the 90%. Like, no one's lower than that, which is actually really good. Considering we haven't got human meat coming into the colony, we're looking very, very golden. It's a good time to be in the colony. I mean, recently, while we've had a lot of problems with... You know, that extreme um, psychic, whatever it was. We've been lucky in other ways because obviously Randy could have went, okay, here's that, have a minus 40. Oh yeah, by the way, and now I'm going to attack you. Now we have been getting a lot of mech attacks. That has to be noted. But I think that's just because of the wealth of the colony more than anything, in all honesty. Yeah, I don't think there's much I would change. 
especially when we get Merlin into melee gear, understanding how powerful melee people are to jump into doors and stuff like that. That's going to change the name of the game, especially getting some chain shotguns. We're looking to get a minigun. We'll probably only get one minigun, but variety matters. And especially because... Because the pro I imagine the value of our colony is much higher than the defences we've got naturally because we have no defences. We need to make sure we're on the ball. So the quicker we can get, obviously, uh, Merlin's armour up, the better. I don't want much in life party, people. But what I do want is some plastic armour for Merlin. And then, yeah, then it's pretty much going through the motions. Right, well, I suppose then it's just really looking at this and making it as good as it can be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I've changed shotguns done, lovely. Shield belts being made, always handy to have a couple. Uh, this plasma sword is just about... Can we smelt it? Okay, looking good. A strong episode. I mean, our main goal of the episode, we sorted, so we always have to count that as a win in my books. Yeah, yeah, I think that's really good. I mean, Perkins is going to be happy. And in a world where all that matters is Perkins being happy, we managed to do it, party people. We managed to achieve that. So if you got to this part of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. And I'll catch you next time, party people. Bye.